Hi YouTube, the Hairy Trucker here. In this video I'm going to uh, show you the first turn on of the TomTom Tom 5150 Pro truck sat nav. Uh, I'll just show you um, what happens when you first turn it on and go through some of the other menu screens as well. So to turn it on, press the button on the top. The uh, thing will light up and it'll make the usual TomTom Tom noise. And you've got this screen. It does take a little while for it to um, load, I find, with other TomToms. For the first time at least, anyway, whilst it boots up. Takes a very long time. There we go. So it asks you what language you want. I want English UK. Oh, what's going on? Oh, there we go. Took a little while for it to uh, figure itself out there. And then it says it's loading the map. This one's got European maps and they're the dedicated truck maps. I don't know what the difference is really. I guess it's just um, got all the heights and everything. Okay, so you can choose what type of vehicle you want to drive. I'm going to select truck because that's why I bought it. And then you can add in all of your vehicle stuff. Um, I'm driving a seven and a half ton lorry mainly at the moment. It's not, ooh, no, not 75 ton, 7.5 ton. So I'm going to put that in there. Vehicle weight per axle, no idea. So I'm just going to skip. Vehicle length, uh, I don't know, probably about 25 foot, something like that. Vehicle height is 10 foot nine. Foot nine vehicle width, no idea, it's about eight. Maximum speed for me is 60. You can, of course, change all this um, later on as well if you want. Yes, might as well. Would you like to set your home address? Now? No, no. Oh, it goes on a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, whatever. Okay, ready to go. Woo, there we go. Okay. Obviously, I'm inside, so I'm not going to have any uh, GPS signal on here, but I should better go through some of the menus. Um, you can see there, default, it comes up with the little icon so you can change what vehicle you drive, and then that icon uh, zooms in and zooms out of the map. If you press the screen, it brings up the main menu. Let's have a look at the settings, night colors, volume, voice guidance, voices. There you can edit the profiles of the vehicles that I just did if you want to change them or add more. Route planning, make room menu. This changes the icon on the side of the map screen. And if you have more than two, it brings up a little mini menu. So you can select what you want on here. Uh, I don't really want that one on because I'm not going to change the vehicles. So you can basically have what you want on the screen to um, get to quickly. I want position to favourites because that's something that I want to do, be able to do. And that's probably about it really. As you can see anyway there's lots of options there. So select done. Uh, what else we've got map corrections, map colours, show point, that's what I wanted, this is what I bought this sat nav for, I want the uh, the points of interest. So you can have it on 2D or 3D view for the POIs to show, you can manage them. And then you can add a point of interest, warn when near, add a category, that's what I want to do, I want a customer's category. I'll do that later. Home favorites, my TomTom -tom car, change up start image, change down shut down image, start up, continue where I left off. Clock, units, battery saving keyboard, operate left handed battery status, brightness, speaker language, fan settings, me and my device. Okay, so that's all the menu options. Um, this is also web fleet compatible if you've got that which I don't and probably never will. 
Uh, this also comes with a year's free live service. We'll have a look at that in a minute because I haven't set that up properly yet. So let's see what the navigation screen is like. Here's other countries on the device. So you can uh, go to an address. Um, you can go by postcode, you can go by city, go by local search or point of interest, point on a map, for latitude. You can also speak the address as well. So to get started, go to the website business.tomtom.com. That will then update your sat nav for the latest maps and everything. It takes a bloody long time. Once it's downloaded, it installs, which takes even longer. Mine took about three hours. Um, you'll see this on your device whilst it's doing that. And once it's finished, it will say done. Your navigation device can be safely disconnected and you're ready to go. Hope that was helpful. Keep an eye out on this channel for more sat nav videos and other videos. And I shall see you all soon.